Welcome back, guys, to Hogwarts Legacy Colonel Ribbit at your service. There's always someone interrupting my intro. Anyway, uh, we are back um, again to Hogwarts Legacy. And as you can see, I have a have had a major look change because um, I got I got bored. I was on this game for two days straight, trying to find the the last Dalian key, and I finally found it. So we are going to go have a look what is inside that chest in the uh, in the common room. You know that place that we hardly ever visit. <laughs> I hope it's worth it because I'm, I'm not joking when I said I spent two days. Um, I completed Hogsmeade. Uh, well, not like completed it, but like I found everything that there was to find in Hogsmeade. Very proud of myself. And I've done a good number on the castle as well. Um, but yes, let's go open up our chest. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. What I get, 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 what I get. Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, you know what? I actually kind of like that. <clears throat> yes, I think we'll stick with that. It's quite lovely. Oh. Let me just double check something. I just think boots are going to be better in this weather. Very considerate of my character. Ooh, <clears throat> it glows. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. This this is this is good. <clears throat> oh, I've got to speak with Nelly, who is somewhere. No, I'm all right, Peeves. You can bugger off. I wonder if it's possible to be faster than the stairs. Jesus Christ, going down very low here. Why is she in the dungeon? Oh no, we're just passing through. It's around here somewhere. Really wish I could just jump, but you can't inside a building apparently. Yes, nothing like waiting for a door to buffer. And you're still here. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I've found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. 
Yep. And you're not going to get one yourself. It's a bit gusty. Okay. What do we have next? Mum's the word. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, Natty wants me to be around when she speaks to her mum. Although I feel like that's not really my place. Oh my god, please, go away. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone. Exactly. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. <clears throat> what an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Mm. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. Oh, I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <laughs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that uh, rather- Someone else has been eavesdropping! Oh god, this really isn't for me to... to get involved in. Oh, what else is there? Oh. Right, yeah, there was a, um, there was that. Oh, and Poppy wants to speak to me too. What's, what's my main quest? Oh, it's the Professor Weasley assignment. Okay, well then let's go do the Dragon Debrief then in Hogsmeade. And yes, I have one collection chest, but I did a bit of research because I'm not joking when I say I run around this place so long. Um, it, it's part of a main story quest. So all is fine. I will get it.
for helping to save the village from those trolls. Okay, literally the trolls were two seasons ago. Let it go. Poppy! Here. I like Poppy, she's cute. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Oh, jeez. Poppy! <laughs> That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Oh, I all heard explanation. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the Again, attack. having to go through this explanation. Why can't it just do like a um a fade in and fade out? Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what <clears> we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Alright. I mean, we could have spoken about this, like, I don't know, when you were talking about or something. Still taking down okay. that troll in the village circle. Okie dokie. I believe we have gotten a lot sorted, so... I think we need to go to the library. Okay, it's wanting me to go here. That right. book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be a looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes. Yes I am. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Oh, quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. <laughs> Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? That's a snidget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical <sighs> artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According
According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right. Wait, are we when done? When Chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. Can you just you're hand it to me? Again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I don't want any more. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. All right. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Avelio ought to make quick work of this. Right. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Excuse me. She's still bothered about that riddle. Open, please. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Love you. Oh, she really does. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Do, do, do we? All right. Pretty easy. We've learned transfiguration. Kind of makes me wonder though if I'm ever actually going to use this spell. Like, well, might make fighting enemies a bit easier, but I kind of panic too much. And I, um, I suppose she'll want me to. Oh, I've learned all the spells apart from the curses. Well, all right then. Um, so yeah, just stick it there. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork, Miss Yeun. All those side quests. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Yeah, we don't need to talk was about that. Was your visit to an ex-aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig? I can't begin to imagine what that was about. Not at all. I was uh, merely interested in learning more about the Aura program. 
I saw Professor Sharp's aura badge and was intrigued. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Oh, okay, um... Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. It turns it into a barrel. Oh, I've got another... Oh, so that's all my assignments! I do not have to do any more assignments! Oh, we're getting to the end. We only have nine more main story quests. Wow, okay. And, oh, we still have quite a few. Quite a few side quests to do. But, not to worry! Okay, yeah, that's what it looks like, but nah, I like this glow. It glows when I cast Since our visit to Felwood, something dawned on me about the triptych near me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. I'm coming, Sebastian! My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Oh, bloody hell. I remember Armid mentioning something about gobbledygook. Oh, am I gonna... Should I really involve, like, other people? Okay, I don't see any other side quests. What am I gonna get over here? Like... Is this whole section here I haven't been to yet? Or is this going to be a lot of like optional stuff? This is probably going to be optional stuff. Yeah, this is where the rest of the side quests are. So I've practically finished everything around here. Although there are a few treasure vaults I seem to have missed. But I've done all the, um, the Merlin trials. Oh, there's going to be so many Merlin trials to do when I get over here, isn't there? Okay. Just more stuff to do with my dad, huh? Um, ba, 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 I guess cover of night is getting worse. Yep. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Okay, that's really weird because Sebastian's like right in front of me. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Okay, you know what? Let's come back to this. It, it's kind of weird doing that and then doing this over here, so... Uh... Alright. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. There he is, again. Here. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. 
I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Oh, Ominous is gonna kill me. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I know that I'm worried of what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the team will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> we're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Alright, so we're gonna have to go up there, but Oh, I'm not opening that. You can go away. Uh Okay, there's a collection chest the there, so Rebellion. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. Repairer. Nope, that's not the way it wasn't. Out of the way, Sebastian. Let me up, please. Jesus. Okay, game struggled a little bit. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous lock. Brilliant. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crawling from the ceiling. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Okay, there's like another way there, but what's what's down here? Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? That works quite well. Okay. All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. But I remember where I've put everything. Confringo. Confringo literally looks like um, Bombarda. Like, there's Confringo. That's Bombarda. In fact, it's the same thing. Oh, hang on a minute.
I'm just an idiot. <laughs> yeah, Cabringo, Hamabobada. Let's just keep going into this creepy place. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Um, Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. Seems odd. Oops. Did you hear that? We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Wow, well, I'm quite spicy, aren't I? Okay, where do I put this? Over here? Oh. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return to the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Um, uh, okay. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Yeah, I've already figured that out. Leave no stone unturned. Or, oh, in this case, no bone. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Not all. Nice. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Uh, what's here? Hmm. Rebellion. I need to find a safe way across. Nice. bone bridge complete. Awesome. 
and I get to the other side of this place. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Yeah, I'll learn it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand's movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling it. So put it there, I guess, and then Spelliarmus. Oh, you know what? Replace it with that. Like I have a better fire spell now. Be on your guard. Oh, oh, oh. Um, um, um. I really don't like it when he does that with the legs. Okay, see, like, if he wasn't here, I would have been able to do that little spell thing. You know, it's. Uh... Rebellion. Okay. Which way? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, something tells me there's something behind there, but I can't. <laughs> Don't know about that. Let's just go through here. <laughs> I'm Fringo. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion. The Wigan Well potions. Oh, 
Because I've been finding so much legendary gear. Whatever gear I find around here is just useless. Oh, speaking of. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Okay, well, that seems simple enough. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Yeah. Never end. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. The dark sacrifice involved for at least its intense may be too great until we know more. Please do not remove this relic. Sebastian, the relic! Look! I'm sorry, it, it mentioned be? sacrifice. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. 
What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Uh, there's someone over there. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. But for God's sake. I can't sake. believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's <laughs> done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it, Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperia! I can't believe I'm doing this. Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on! What did you do? Imperium. It was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous. I'm sorry. Sebastian, we need to go. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've always looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian.
Are you really running all this? Do you want to keep up? When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Uh, so that's not right. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. You can't stop us. I will do business. Boy, what have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. Why do I seem to have these magical, to like, charisma abilities? Oh. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable oh, that curse, wasn't the right word to use. this family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. 
that you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. <laughs> Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Whoops. Ooh. I like my purple one. I probably didn't make a lot of good decisions there, but oh well. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh, this way. What in Merlin's name were you thinking? Using the family owl to deliver that pitiful attempt at a poet to both batten. Okay, how is it supposed to be louder than that? speak with my uncle yep. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne well what did he say I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft nor Anne I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister he had no right to banish me from my own twin <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne he's sorely mistaken he also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I don't know if I'll I should. I'll send you an hour when I have news. Alright then. I think we can call that an episode. Till next time. Colonel Ribbit signing out. <laughs>